In macOS Sierra, the biggest addition is Siri. So here's what you need to know. First off, there are three ways to activate Siri. There's an icon in the dock, an icon in the menu bar, and a key command that you can use. And you can change a few settings, like which keyboard shortcut you want to use and what mic Siri uses as well. Activating Siri gives you a pretty familiar interface, and you can use it much the same way that you do on the phone, but it's also been optimized with a few new features to make it work even better on the Mac. First off is being able to multitask. So you can be working on something and activate Siri, but when you do, it doesn't stop everything that you're doing like it does on the phone. You can continue working. But it can also help with that work. Now you can locate files with Siri, so you can find files from certain dates or with certain tags or titles, and when you found what you're looking for, the Siri search doesn't have to disappear. You can pin searches in the notification center, so if there is something you want to stay up to date with, like sports scores or the weather, you can always have that search close by. You can also drag and drop from a Siri window. So for instance, if you're working on a document and you need an image for it really quick, you can search for images in Siri and when you find the one you want, just drag directly from that window into your document. And you can do this all without having to actually go to the web. Now, aside from those Mac specific skills, you can still do all the other things you're used to, like making appointments, checking the weather, movie times, all those things are still available here on the Mac. So that is what's new with Siri and macOS Sierra. This is still in beta, so improvements and changes are likely to come, but it gives us a good idea what to expect in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out and visit MacRumors.com for more. Thank you all for watching. I'm Matt Gonzalez with MacRumors and I'll see you next time.